Welcome to the next part in my quest to take on Eddie Merck's hour record and see if I can ride 49 and a half kilometers in an hour. This challenge is all about seeing if modern science, technology and equipment can propel me, someone remarkably average physiologically, to the level of Eddie Merckx, the greatest of all time. And the single most important piece of equipment is going to be what I wear. This is because the biggest force I need to overcome is aerodynamic drag. And the biggest source of drag is me, my body. So what I cover it in becomes phenomenally important. That considered, I've come to see no pins. Fortunately, specialist aero clothing and skin suit manufacturer No Pins has agreed to support my challenge. No Pins is an industry leader in aerodynamic clothing with a big emphasis on custom. They make skin suits for world tour teams, Olympic federations, and a plethora of champions. In case you were wondering why No Pins is called No Pins, well, it's a cool story. The company began with the simple but brilliant idea of the Speed Wallet, a transparent pocket that could be used to display race numbers, stopping them flapping around in the wind and not requiring pins. But before we go any further, to demonstrate to you guys just how much difference clothing can make, I visited the Boardman Performance Wind Tunnel. I wanted to see the aero advantage between standard road kit and an off the peg aero skin suit. So I'm going to do some tests with Dr. Xavier Disley to find out. So what we're doing now is taking a baseline for Ollie, where we're gonna be testing him in bibs and jersey. And we're doing the wind speed at 50 kilometers an hour because that's the speed that he's gonna to need to do if he wants to break Merckx's record. I've now changed into the premium off the peg no pins flow suit. Let's see how much difference it makes. So, the results show the no pins flow suit was around 12 watts faster at 50 kilometers an hour than the standard road kit. But, I mean, just knowing that, I'm excited to see how much more aero we can get with a fully custom one. Time to head back to no pins. Up here is where I'm going to get measured up uh, by no pins. Now, I'm pretty excited to be honest. They're pretty cool. So there's two ways that no pins can create your tailor-made bespoke skin suit. You can either send them 22 individual measurements and they'll use those to create the suit, or you can do what I'm gonna do, which is a full 3D body scan in your pants. And uh, that's said to be even more accurate, at getting all your measurements so the suit fits perfectly. Seriously cool bit of tech this. So this is the 3D body scanning equipment. There's 12 individual cameras for each one of these pillars. And then there's sort of infrared distance sensors on them as well. And then this thing, well, that's not a piece of trendy IKEA furniture. Oh no, that's just a calibration tool for the cameras. And then you stand here and it scans you. There's nowhere to hide on this thing. Let's hope I haven't had too many mince pies over Christmas but it'd be a really good tool this for like Savile Row tailors, wouldn't it? Amazing. So this is Katie, she works in product development and is a seamstress as well here at No Pins and she's responsible for making custom suits like mine. Katie got to work scanning me for my custom suit. Now I've been scanned, we can see my suit being made, which is really exciting. So the first step is the designers in that room there, they draw up the panels, and then the fabric gets cut out with laser precision, literally with lasers downstairs. So we're gonna go see that. All right, so we're just walking through No Pins HQ, and uh, in this room through here is where all the profiling and the cutting of the fabric happens. This is Tom, he's gonna to be cutting out the bits 
of my suit on the CNC laser. So I've got some fabric on, on the machine now. What, what fabric is this one? This is our aero stripe fabric. All oh, right, so the one that goes on the side of this. This is giving you your side panels, yeah. So we got your um, file here. Let's get my suit cut. So these are your component parts for the Aerostripe fabric. So we're going to pair them up and we're going to add the next parts of your flow suit, which is from this one here. The speed, this is the speed scale fabric. That's right, this is our latest proprietary fabric, um, speed scales. Yeah, so we're having this made, it's only available through us. And we're going to load that up and cut out the next parts of your suit. So these are the really, really fast bits of the suit. Yeah, so this is the stuff that's been, I mean, it's all been wind tunnel tested, but this is the very latest tester on this, and it shows as being the fastest fabric we've got. Nice. The more complicated graphics are applied using dye sublimation. According to Xavier, it will make the suit more aero. Nice. So the process of sublimation begins by printing out the patterns and graphics onto this big sheet of paper, and then that's passed through the heat press there that's at 200 degrees with the fabric next to it. And the combination of heat and pressure forces the ink from the paper on to the fabric. And uh, well, the rise of sublimation was uh, responsible for all those rather brightly colored jerseys that you saw in the 90s, uh, covered in lots of logos. Now it's time to add all the graphics, and this is done using a process called thermoprinting. The graphics are cut using a printer. Heat and pressure is then applied onto the custom cut graphics to bond them onto the material. This is gonna look really cool. I'm gonna leave the guys down here to carry on with their jobs. But here in this bag is the kit required to build my suit. So I'm gonna take it upstairs to the seamstresses and they're gonna work the magic. So this is where the seamstresses do their magic and put all the parts together to create the finished suit. And it's a bit different from most clothing uh, manufacturing setups. They normally have like a production line where one person does just one seam and then passes it on to the next person. But here, each seamstress is responsible for creating the entire suit. And this is great because it ensures like higher quality and people just take more pride in their work because they're making the whole, the whole suit. So, oh, I can't wait to, can't wait to get mine now. So here is my finished, custom-made, tailored, no-pins skin suit. Check this out. So it's all black, because I like black. It's kind of stealthy and cool, and also it's slimming. Now, on here, you've got a, uh, a cool little note as well, a little card that says, your suit was made by Katie. That's the seamstress that's put it together. Nice. So we've got uh, personalized Ollie versus Eddie graphics on there and the hashtag Suff Hour of Power. And that's on the back too. Uh, nice, like that. And you may notice it's got a number pocket on the back. And you may be wondering why, because I don't need to wear a number in the hour record, but there's a good reason for that. I spoke to No Pins and they said that the suit's actually a little bit faster, a little bit more aerodynamic with the number pocket, so it's staying on there. But now we're gonna head off to the Boardman wind tunnel. I'm gonna put it on and we're gonna see how fast this suit is. I can't wait. We're just heading up to Evesham to the Boardman Wind Tunnel to test the new custom Taylor skin suit. And it's just incredible to think like how far technology's moved and how much faster this clothing is now compared to what Eddie had in his day. And also just the fact that then you can test something in a wind tunnel or on a velodrome and you can get digital you know, feedback straight away as to how it affects your, your drag coefficient. I mean, Technology is just incredible what it can do. So what's special about this state-of-the-art skin suit? What makes it 
cutting edge. Well, it features a new proprietary speed scales fabric, which was developed with Aero Coach and is designed to reduce drag. You've also got special seams and trip strips, which do a similar thing, tripping the air from laminar to turbulent flow and encouraging it to stick to the body longer before separating. By having a suit custom made, the placement of the trip strips and the stretch of the different textured fabrics are better optimized. We're now back at the Boardman Performance Center wind tunnel, and I'm gonna test out the new skin suit, the new no pins flow suit. Before that, we're going to retest the off the peg suit again to get an accurate comparison and a baseline. And hopefully the custom one that I endured the 3D body scan for will be faster. The moment I've been waiting for, trying on my completely custom no pins skin suit. I can't wait. See, the people at home, they'll be like watching this and go, eight watts. But within the context of this, yeah. eight watts is massive. massive. Absolutely massive. Because I mean, to get eight watts on my FTP, well, basically the hour I can do for it, the power I can do for an hour, mm -hmm. I mean, that's. It's a lot of training. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's like another training. three months training, probably, to get that. Yeah, exactly. And it, I mean, the, the, the good thing is, as well, is that we're testing this at the race speed. Yeah. The thing to bear in mind is that you know you, when you're testing clothing and things, you've got to do it at the speed you, that you need to, um, and the data was really consistent. So the way you're pedaling and everything, the way you're holding yourself on the bike yeah. was, was good, um, which means that we can kind of get those get those margins. But I'm really happy with that. That's really That's really good. good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's awesome. So let's recap. At 50 kilometers an hour, the off-the-peg flow suit was 12 watts faster than the aero jersey and shorts. The custom suit is 8 watts faster than the off-the-peg suit, which means I'm saving a crazy 20 watts from just clothing. Were it a standard jersey and shorts, not aero ones, the gap would be even bigger too. And that's just mind-blowing. I can't believe how much difference clothing can make. I mean, I knew it made a difference, but you know, the difference between a skin suit and, and jersey and shorts is, is massive. But then a custom suit to, to, to make that much difference, oh, I find it absolutely fascinating. And it's just, you know, incredible to see modern technology, you know, the limits being pushed and, and what people are doing now. It's just amazing. Also how much faster it is than what Eddie Merckx had to use but I'm feeling confident after today, it's good. I've got a few more gains I can make, custom cockpit, custom chain rings, a few more watts I can save, so I'm feeling good. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vid, and you know, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time as I continue my quest. <laughs>